Yo, what's going on, people? Uh, thank you for enrolling into this course. I'm super excited that you guys are here, um, and hopefully I am able to uh, share some information to help you get on the right track in order to build and grow your online store. Um, so the whole concept of this course, this is the, the introduction video, I kind of want to set the tone um, and set the expectations of what you guys will learn and kind of what you can expect throughout this uh, this free course. So the whole concept is creating your online store and where to get your products made. We are going to cover from A to Z of what that looks like, uh, provide you with resources on where to get that made, um, provide you with free trials to the softwares that you need to set this up um, and get you on the right track to getting that situated. So what you will learn in this course, number one, is how to set up an online store without having to hire a developer. Uh, the, the good thing about today's technology and where we are, uh, th there's so many different resources out there. And as small businesses, as entrepreneurs, as aspiring entrepreneurs, it's it's very smart for us to be thoughtful on where we spend our money and where we um uh, where we get the most bang for our buck, right? We have to make every penny work as a dollar. So um, nowadays with technology, we can utilize this without having to hire an outsource you uh, being able to have a designer start your online store. So next, we're going to show you how to get your products printed. Now, I get so many questions about where do we find a good manufacturer? How do we find somebody that can actually per print our products, right? Print our products at affordable price and get it to our customers. A lot of times the challenge has been, uh, you know, people will have to print a bunch of inventory and then they'll have to sit on inventory and then they'll have to try to sell it. Then they won't have sizes and then they have to ship the stuff out to the customers. And it could be a big, big headache and it could be time consuming and it could cost a lot of money. So I'm going to show you where you don't need any inventory to start, where you can set up your products on your store and sell them. So as an order goes through, your customers will get it. Shipping your products to your customers, another big headache and pain point that we've been going over uh, with a lot of our students and that I've been hearing a lot is that, you know, you actually ha don't have the space to store all of your shirts and all of your product and everything like that. And then every single order that you get online, you actually have to, to, to print out the shipping label, package it up and ship it out yourself. So we're going to show you a solution of where you can have a distribution center where you don't have to actually touch a shirt. It gets shipped directly to your customer as soon as they order it. Adding other items to your store. So we're going to go over how do you find other items um, that people sell wholesale. We're going to go over this concept of drop shipping um, and how do you add other items to your store to be able to sell them and then you get a margin and get a cut just for selling that product. Also, where to find a good graphic designer. This has been I think this actually has been the number one question uh, that I receive all the time is where do you find a good graphic designer? So I'm going to provide you guys with resources on where you can find inexpensive graphic designers to get all of your design work done um, at a very, very affordable cost um, and to be able to have an extended team and to be able to do that. Also, we're going to cover over bulk orders. So, you know, maybe once you guys start getting the ball rolling, you start putting and implementing these processes that I'm going to teach you. Sometimes you'll need to actually order bulk stuff, right? So maybe you'll have a distribution center or maybe you'll have a place where you actually need to, to, to ship out your orders or you have an event that you want to go to and you need, you know, 500 shirts or whatever. I'm going to provide resources on how you can partner with our agency um, to help with those bulk orders to to take care of that. So who is this course for? So this course is for independent artists, record labels, basically anybody in the music industry, right? If you have, um, <clears throat> if you have a logo, if you have a brand, if you have um, a design, if you have stuff that you want to sell and, and kind of like have some merchandising, this is perfect for store merch. Also influencers, YouTube bloggers, people that have an audience, people that have maybe some cool kind of like saying that they do or some sort of cool little movement that they want to kind of extend. So not only are you able to kind of connect with your audience online, but you're also t able to connect and extend that message offline. Uh, the entertainment industry, so perfect for different record labels. Again, like I said, um, just different people in the industry. Tattoo artists, this is perfect because you're able to put your art on different various products and set up your online store. And again, let that be an extension of your brand and of your kind of like personal kind of culture that you're trying to bring. The fitness industry. So whether you're a trainer, whether you're a gym, whether you're um, um, a, a, a CrossFit coach, whatever the case may be, sometimes you want to create your online store and sell your products online. So perfect for the fitness industry 
industry, photography and film. So if you have some really cool like photography that you want to put on shirts or pillows or or coffee mugs or whatever the case may be, this is great for you. Nonprofits, it's really good to be able to maybe start like a campaign around your nonprofit um, and, and start to kind of build out that message and to be able to have your products online to be able to generate that money. And last but not least, people wanting to start a clothing brand. Now, this is the most effective way that I'm going to show you um, that you can start your brand with little to no investment up front um, to get the, the 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 wheels turning because man when we first started when we first started to do all this stuff technology wasn't in its current form right like we started in 2008 we wanted to take the manufacturing in in house and do it all of our all, do it all ourselves but what we realized is that utilizing technology and being able to scale your work and being able to use different partners is the best way to get started because you can test your ideas out with very, very limited upfront investment to be able to test your idea to make sure it works. So I just want to give you guys a quick little bit background on myself. Some of you guys may know my story. Some of you guys may not. So just want to kind of like go over a little bit of, of what I've been able to do. Um, so you have an understanding of kind of like this information and where you're getting it from. So my name is Devin Lars and I'm the CEO and founder of Doing Everything Different, which is a positive lifestyle brand representing progression and evolving. Um, and then also a full service creative agency called Curio Media, um, where we do a lot of creative work and we help different businesses scale and grow through online and offline products, whether that's online through digital marketing or offline through physical products, promotional items, helping them create physical uh, uh, items and stuff like that. So these are a couple people from my team. Some of our P VPs and managers at our Oakland office um, have a really, really strong team. Um, I love these guys. So a little background on some projects that we've done. This is a collaboration project that we did for Chris Brown um, several years back. We did a full kind of collaboration project. This is when he won uh, the best male R&B artist um, and he wore one of our shirts there. Uh, we did this project called Kind of Famous for him. Um, so we did a, a whole build out for him. This is Kevin Durant. Um, this is uh, when he won or when the Golden State Warriors won the 2017 uh, NBA Finals. Kevin's team came to us and they said that they wanted to do some sort of hat. So when he left OKC, everybody kept calling him a cupcake. So what we decided to do is, is put a red velvet cupcake, but with a championship ring on top instead of a cherry. Sorry, OKC fans, but it was funny. <laughs> and so it like broke the internet. I mean, ESPN wrote about it. Uh, they they posted a picture um, of, of or a, a video right before they played the next season uh, when the Warriors played OKC and then like shouted us out, put our logo on it and, and, and everything. It was kind of crazy. And then in 2018, this picture of the phone, uh, when they won the championship again, uh, this was a project we actually did for Nike. So we produced this hat and he wore that. Uh, we did a big project for Tesla when the Model X came out. We were doing all of their team wear. So every single employee in the factory that was working on these cars got a piece of our our, our clothing, right? The, the, the stuff that we printed for Tesla. Um, and so when the Model X came out, their production staff came to us and said, hey, we want to do a company-wide campaign. We want to do about 30,000 units of this product. Help us design and create something. So every single employee, every single contractor, uh, including Elon Musk, uh, received one of these shirts. And so it was a, it was a pretty cool project. Um, our office was directly across the street from their, their manufacturing facility. So it was a great partnership and I love this company. Uh, we also have a contract with Nike. So every time that they come out here and do activations, uh, basically do anything that has to do with marketing, uh, we do all of their production and their printing. This is one of our clients from the TV show Criminal Minds. Uh, we've been printing their merchandise and helping them design for the last, I think, five seasons. So every time the season comes up, we do all the, the, the print work and give it to all their staff and all the crew um, for that TV show. This was a project that we did for Sephora, uh, not so much of the clothing branding side of things, but uh, Rihanna was launching uh, an event with Sephora, her fenting line, and they came to us to help them build out a landing page to be able to kind of like articulate and put together um, the event. So with all that being said, I, I, I've, I've done a lot since 2008 and, and kind of like made it my goal and my mission to kind of give back, right? I want to be able to help 
people, help companies, especially small entrepreneurs that are just starting to be able to take their ideas and put it into reality. I think a lot of the times when we first started, we've had so many good mentors that just kind of help guide us through the process. And now with technology and doing things like being able to do a podcast or do a YouTube show or to do this course, there's so much stuff that I've learned that can speed up the process. And I know sometimes it just takes a matter of just understanding and knowing what to do and then giving it to somebody and passing that information on and they will actually accomplish it and make things happen. So I travel across the country. I, I work with a ton of students. Um, I, I, I speak. I talk about my story. This was actually a shirt, one of the first shirts that I did. Um, and it was for uh, it was for Rick Ross. And I was actually like showing him at a signing. And as you can see in that picture, it don't look nothing like Rick Ross. So it was just it was a funny story. You can find the full story on YouTube. I'm not going to get too deep into it. Um, but in 2008, this was our garage. I converted my room into our manufacturing facility, converted my or to our office and then converted my garage into a manufacturing facility. And we just like taught ourselves how to screen print. Fast forward to 2017, we owned three locations, um, had a full service uh, manufacturing production facility, um, a store for our brand, and then an office. So that's a little bit about me. I'm not going to go um, too deep into it. You can find my story and some of the other things if you want to look at videos, my background and stuff like that here. Um, but you guys are here to learn about the online store. So without further ado, I want to jump into it and jump into the next video and we will get started. Peace.